Well, I bought some XPung stock about two weeks ago, and it's already gone up by about 35%. I should have bought more. Go figure. One of the key reasons why that stock is up so high is because of this recent announcement. XPung have just announced a new 800 volt platform and 480 kilowatt hour charging. What does this mean? Their cars will recharge from 10 to 80% state of charge in only 12 minutes. Now that is a game changer. Hello my friends, welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, pleasure to have you here. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, Thanks for commenting and thanks for supporting the electric revolution. Now, if you're here, that's officially what you're doing. So if you don't like the electric revolution, well, suck it up because it's here. Now, Xpeng, one of the Chinese EV startups that has stormed the EV market of late, doubling its car sales this year versus last year. In fact, they haven't doubled, they've more than doubled. They're up by 250% recently held its annual 1024 Tech Day, announcing several new technologies and new business branches like flying cars, I'm making a video about those by the way, and robotic technologies. They're working on robots as well. Sounds a little bit like Tesla, doesn't it? Having a Tech Day, well it is very similar. Tesla has kind of popularized this concept, but I think it actually started way back with Steve Jobs with these kind of Apple presentation day. Fans started to love it, and Elon jumped on board, and now XPeng are doing the, the same thing. By the way, so are Volkswagen. Videos that I've created about XPeng, I think it might actually be the most viewed video I've made about the company, is about their new P5 Toyota Camry Smasher. That's what I think of it as. It's basically similar in price to a Toyota Camry, but just superior in every single possible way, luxury, it's an EV, it has a far superior interior, bigger infotainment screens, better infotainment system, just in every way it's superior to a Toyota Camry, but the same price. I see that as being a game changer. Now, the P5 actually will go on sale this month, so it's going to be very interesting to see the sales figures from Xpeng. I know they have over 10,000 pre-orders in China already for this vehicle. So, Xpeng announced the introduction of China's first 800 volt high voltage mass production SIC platform. I should say, well, BYD also have an 800 volt platform in their vehicles, which are currently, well, the first car to have that platform was the Dolphin, which was, was released last month in September. Sales for the Dolphin are going to be massive once BYD has ramped up sales for that vehicle. But anyway, this new 800 volt platform from Xpeng further boosts efficiency and fast charging. The new Xpeng EVs will be able to replenish up to 200 kilometers of range or 124 miles in just five freaking minutes. Five minutes, that's amazing. Simultaneously, the company will launch new 480 kilowatt high voltage chargers that will be capable of supplying up to 670 amps. Now the in-house developed chargers will also be equipped with Xpeng's own battery energy storage system to decrease peak demand. One charger is promised to be able to charge 30 cars, one after another. That's impressive. Here's what Xpeng said. The evolving smart mobility ecosystem depends on highly efficient and full coverage power infrastructure. To deliver this goal, Xpeng will introduce China's first 800 volt high voltage mass production SIC platform with new generation X-Power superchargers able to charge for a range of up to 200 kilometers in just five minutes. To maximize the utility of the 800 volt SIC platform, Xpeng will also roll out lightweight 480 kilowatt high voltage supercharging piles with IP67 protection and safety monitoring, delivering a superior, safe and convenient charging experience for customers. Supporting this supercharging network, Xpeng will also launch power storage facilities in both piles and mobile vehicles. If you didn't understand all of that, don't worry, I didn't either, but I'm giving you the gist 
of the most important parts in this video. So as you can see in the video, the new EVs and chargers will result in 10 to 80% charging time of just 12 minutes. That sounds like incredibly new state-of-the-art technology, because it is. This is next level. This will change perception of EVs for many customers. Currently, the company has 439 branded DC fast charging stations across China and 1,648 general fast charging stations. Probably didn't know that. Most people don't know that Xpeng has, well, quite a lot of fast charging stations located throughout China. Now, if you weren't already aware, Xpeng is working on its 3.0, 3.5, and 4.0 driver assistance system. There's been videos online showing how impressive this driver assistance system is. Obviously, it's Xpeng's goal to have autonomous driving, and that's what they're working on. They're actually doing a very good job of this. I think Xpeng is very undervalued considering how far they've come in terms of this autonomous driving system. Most people in the West just have no idea of Xpeng's existence or the fact that they're making these impressive cars or the fact that they're about to disrupt some of the major automakers in Europe. So what about flying cars? Well, Xpeng unveiled its next generation flying car design developed by its affiliate Urban Air Mobility UAM company called the HT Aero. A flying EV is expected to enter the market in 2024. Now, Xpeng is not the only manufacturer working on flying cars. There's a number of other manufacturers doing it. I've got a video coming very soon talking about who those manufacturers are and what is actually going on. Are these the real deal? Will they work? Will you be able to buy one? Well, very interesting stuff. Now, what about robotic technology? Well, the next area that Xpeng is focusing on is robotic technology, very similar to Tesla. Apparently, this technology is designed to support superior autonomy. Xpeng foresees smart robots becoming an intelligent platform for the integrated smart mobility ecosystem, addressing far more complex challenges in autonomy, sensing, and interaction than vehicles. The pony-style robot prototype will be able to perceive diverse environments and multiple targets with 3D route planning and execute multi-mode user recognition through facial, body, and voice print sensing. Basically, they have a robot right now. It looks like a dog to me. They're saying a pony, but no, I think it's a dog. What do you think? Is it a dog? Is it a pony? Tell me what you think. I don't know. Anyway, they say the next generation of robotic technologies integrated into smart mobility will need advanced sensory and tactile interactions to navigate and interact with complex camera module and LiDAR sensing system with object recognition, sound field sensory capabilities. Xpeng will explore increasingly diverse scenarios to support wider mobility, planning, and machine interaction. Honestly, this company is going places. And so I thought I should invest and I'm happy so far that I've made a bit of money. Hopefully you've invested too, because I've been telling people on the channel to do that. By the way, invest in BYD as well, and Tesla, it's not too late. Now, what I'm most intrigued about is the battery technology in these cars, how that can handle adding 124 miles of charge in only five minutes. Will that cause significant battery degradation? It could. So I'm going to do some more research into this and try and find out exactly what battery chemistry they're using. And if or if not, that will cause significant battery degradation if you attempt to use your use these new 480 kilowatt hour chargers to charge your vehicle. They sound awesome, but could that have side effects? It's a good question. What do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Either way, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for subscribing, liking. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.